So after a recent event in my life where a machine failed and I lost some files, I realized that I probably should be doing something about backups. David, why are backups so important? Backups are key because they're your insurance policy. So, um, and it's not just for your hardware failure. There's actually the biggest one these days is uh, online threats like ransomware. So what does ransomware do? It goes in and it encrypts all of your files, puts that little message up there that's very great and says, send me some Bitcoin, otherwise there's a time bomb, your files are gone forever. And yes, your files are gone forever. That is actually very true. But you said, you said something there that I, I wanted to ask, and I think people will probably benefit from hearing this. You said time bomb. Yes. The ransomware that I've heard about doesn't infect your files and immediately start doing damage. No. It can infect your files and then a month from now do damage. Absolutely. Is it longer than that? Do we Generally have any not. kind of an idea? It's usually There's usually a, a sense of urgency. Okay. Because they want you to pay right away. Yeah, because they want their money. So yeah. keeping backups, it's not just one backup. It's no. about keeping more than one <laughs> rolling backups. I am so glad you brought that up, Greg. Yeah. So there are different styles of backups. There are the backups that uh, just happen and they're an exact copy of what you got right now. Usually people have it on a USB hard drive, a USB stick, an online cloud account, whatever it is. And it's a, it's a copy. Yeah. Then there's the backups that Greg just alluded to where it's, you can go back in time. There's versions to it. So you could say, I want to look at my file from 30 days ago. And that's cool because if generally speaking, you don't notice when a problem happens until later on. After it's been backed up. You know, or even a disgruntled <laughs> employee goes and deletes a bunch of files on your yeah. corporate file server. When do you notice that? Long after they're gone and you need the file. Right. Okay, so then we now have to talk about offline backups. Those are the best, but they take the most amount of effort to put in place. And the reasoning for that is that they're like, example, you copy all your files on a USB hard drive or a USB stick and you take it and you put it at your parents' place. So the benefit of that is that you have a copy of all your data as a snapshot in time and nothing could get to it. So yeah. it can't automatically get overwritten. It can't whatever. And those are great for ransomware. We used to use cassette tapes. We yeah. used to use CDs, DVDs, and burn them on optical. We used to, in fact, cassette tapes they are had, still they awesome. They had a lifespan. Yeah, though. they did. Usually 20, 25 years. Okay. Yeah. Well, we'll get into that in another video, I think. Yeah. We can but talk more honestly, reevaluate your backups, what you're doing for your backups, and you can't have enough. Uh, and then the next problem, of course, is most people don't test them. <laughs> I got some good stories and, there. And we're going to leave it on that note. Yes. Thanks for watching. If you like what you heard, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you in the next episode.